part of the envelope. Pitches the aircraft up. And you notice the blade at the top, it's pitched backwards, so that helps the air flow through it. And uh, that's done on purpose so that it uh, will always be spinning. Um, so it's about a 10 degree pitch of the, uh, the what we call the rotor disc uh, up so that the air is always flowing through it. So now he's coming in to crowd center and he's going to dip the aircraft and this will be his last pass. So that's him saying cheerio. I'm sure he's going to wave again as he comes down and uh, he'll do his last pass as it looks like the sun is doing his last pass as it dips over the Firth Glide. So, a very nice, stable opening to our flying tonight. And uh, we're really going to go from one extreme to the other, because uh, as Peter pitches the aircraft around and comes back from left to right, give him a wave. I'm sure he'll be waving at you too, because uh, coming up next, on the highlights of the weekend. There he goes. Well done, sir. See you tomorrow. So Peter's going to head back to Presswick. And I uh, know in the overhead, joining us in 10 minutes with the Royal Air Force Blackjack Typhoon. So, as I said, get ready for that because it is super loud and uh, super entertaining as well. Full repeat. I've never seen this aircraft display in these dust conditions, so you're really going to get some great pictures with the full reheat on uh, and the darkness of the sky. So, 10 minutes time, the Royal Air Force, with the Blackjack Typhoon. Can I stand over there? I have YouTube channel, I make a video. Stand over there? Yes, 
I can respond to you. Thank you. So we're getting close to the uh, arrival of the aircraft from the Royal Air Forces, the Blackjack Typhoon. A uh, little bit of housekeeping. As I said, it's a very loud display. So uh, if you have young kids, please uh, make sure they're uh, aware of what's going to happen. Because it can be, especially in the reheat moments, you know, quite uh, thundery noise. Um, lots of people here today and uh, myself included i think i did this when i arrived yesterday uh, feeding the pigeons and the uh, seagulls unfortunately we're trying not to uh, get uh, pigeons and seagulls involved in air shows that's because if they get ingested into some of the aircraft it uh, causes a world of pain for everybody uh, so please uh, if you can keep the seagull uh, feeding down to an absolute minimum and I'm sure I don't have to say this but please no drones uh, no drones at all uh, around here while there's flying going on and uh, we had uh, reported some drones earlier and um, I know that the people involved with them were dealt with so uh, if you don't want to lose your drone please don't fly it while we're flying 25 ton aircraft going at 400 miles an hour around here so uh, as I said coming up next is the uh, RAF Typhoon display and this year's uh, RAF Typhoon display is call sign uh, Anarchy 1 it's piloted by Flight Lieutenant uh, Matt uh, Greifley and a qualified QFI and 29 squadron based out of uh, RAF Coningsby Matt joined uh, Royal Air Force's direct entry back in 2007 and I'm just listening to him on the uh, airshow frequency. He's uh, been cleared in by the Flying Control Committee and uh, he has the full height restrictions lifted on him. So we're going to be seeing some zoom climbing as well. So as I said, Matt joined your area back in 2007. He uh, underwent elementary flight training on a Grob tutor and then he uh, streamed into fast jets. Uh, Linton on news flying the uh, Tucano T1 then went on to tactical weapons course in the Hulk T1 You can hear him out there So uh, he's out towards the southwest Getting ready to do uh, Transit arrival which will be a high-speed arrival at 500 knots So get your eyes to the sky It's uh, poon time as they say. And I can see that distinctive shape there, by 11 o'clock, moving left to right. He's in an orbit, building up the speed. And Matt returned back to 29 Squadron in 2020. Uh, he's become a qualified flying instructor. He's responsible for training both air crew and ground crew, and not just from the UK, but also partner nations as well. He was selected for this role in October of last year. And, uh, when he's not displaying the aircraft, he is teaching uh, frontline Typhoon pilots how to operate the jet. He also contributes to the RAF's Coningsby Primary Task Force, which is the QRA duties, quick reaction uh, alert duties, and uh, that new Channel 4 series that we've all been glued to, uh, Top Guns in the RAF. And you'll know the work that he does. And as you'll see from Matt's display, the Typhoon's immense performance and maneuverability is coupled with weapon capability, making a clear choice for the Royal Air Force's combat air platform following the retirement of the tornadoes. And uh, under Project Centurion, Typhoon is now a swing wing combat platform able to conduct both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface. It's designated the Typhoon FGR-4.
So if you'd like to find out more about uh, the typhoon, of course we have a full model uh, in the Oreo village, uh, just down in the lower green. And uh, if you go over to see them, uh, they'll be happy to go through it with you. I think you can get your picture taken inside the cockpit as well. So if you like what you see, go over to the RAF village. The GR4 also going through the uh, upgrade with the radar system. There's a new radar system called Radar 2. And uh, this aircraft was built in a sort of modulus style so that they could upgrade systems without major uh, internal rewirings. And uh, this new Radar 2 system that's going to be coming online over the next couple of years is going to transform this aircraft, nearly doubling its uh, lethality uh, range. So get ready. You can see the light is on coming from the left. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the 2023 Royal Air Force Typhoon Display. Typhoon is skidding through the sky. Now watch again, reheat engaged. Phenomenal roll rate and uh, the fly-by-wire system helping him keep the aircraft under control at all times. He's using a HOTAS hands-on throttle. So with his left hand, he's able to engage multiple systems on the aircraft. Very difficult to do that and keep the aircraft level. A lot of work with your feet on the rudder pedals. So 
also get ready for uh, the slower part of his envelope now. This is called a slow speed loop. You'll make use of the staggering excess power and select full reheat once he enables that to climb vertical into a slow speed loop. So this is what we call Max Alpha. If you have binoculars, you'll be able to see the canards at the front moving rapidly. They do uh, 6,000 decisions a second in four computers. As I said, there was the reheat as he uh, positioned the aircraft back up and instantly speeding back up to 600 miles an hour. Now watch as he drops the aircraft back down into what's called a max rate turn, half horizontal with a nice big hole. all that speed through, putting it through a 360 right in front of you, sustaining 9G, so nine times each body weight, pushing him back into the aircraft. pulling 9G one more time and then up into the vertical and he's going to rocket skywards just a couple of seconds and he'll be up at about 10,000 feet. Looks like he's going to come back crowd center before he does his vertical penetration. Uh, some ballooning 
activity in the main arena. And uh, we hope to see you all back here t tomorrow. Flying starts at 13.20 uh, with the Gravity Industries. And if you want to see the uh, uh, Royal uh, Air Force again, uh, they will be displaying again tomorrow. Uh, we have the Battle of Britain Memorial flight. And uh, we also have the Canadian, uh, sorry, the Gazelle Squadron. Uh, we've got Rolls Royce with the Heritage flight. The Typhoon is going to be flying again about 20 past five in the afternoon. And of course, the Red Arrows uh, will be finishing the show. Uh, in the meantime, I uh, hope you'll relax and uh, enjoy the rest of the events we've got on the ground here for you. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. And, uh, oh, Pyrotech, sorry. Thank God for the Flying Control Committee, because they've just said, don't forget that Aerosol Pyrotechnics are still going to be displaying. So we have one more flying display for us. The Airborne Pyrotechnics, the Grob 109 with the Pyrotechnics on board. They'll be coming in very shortly. And uh, we'll be playing some music to sit back and relax as day goes tonight.